welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be talking a little bit about shoulder pads. Here we have a set in sleeve shoulder pad and as you can see it is D-shaped and this particular shoulder pad is used in jackets and coats because there are many layers. So if I just show you the crown and you can see the many layers, it can be more or less and I'll just show you the underside of the shoulder pad and the shoulder pad has a area where it is set into the sleeve and this part is described as the shoulder and the opposite one is where you would actually place it towards the neckline. Again this is another set in sleeve shoulder pad it's d-shaped but this time this one is used in blouses and dresses and it is the crown here can also be bigger and smaller and um, this one is much more lighter weight and it's kind of, uh, how do you describe, a foam filling inside and it has this nylon covering. It can come in grey, black and white and other colours as well. The next type of shoulder pad is the raglan shoulder pad and this is very different to the previous one because this one has a rounded edge and if I just turn it on the inside and the reason why it's rounded because it fits into the raglan shaping so therefore it has this kind of dome type shape to it it's again used for coats and jackets and it has uh, many layers again it can be thicker it can be lighter so there are variations within shoulder pads if you are to insert a set in shoulder pad this is a type of garment that you would need the sleeve is separate so therefore this is the type of slip, uh, shoulder pad you will need. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the outside of the garment. So you place it in this position. So the thinner part is towards the neck and the crown, the depth, is towards the shoulder seam. Now what happens then is that it comes into the seam allowance of the sleeve and also the armhole and this raises the sleeve head and gives it that beautiful shape that you can find here. When you're inserting a raglan shoulder pad, as you can see, we don't have a armhole shaping towards the end of your shoulder. And raglans are, this is a variant, so there are variants on the different types of raglans. And as you can see, the seam is going towards the shoulder. So here, in order to get that beautiful lift that we've got here, you need to place your shoulder pad in the position like so and then as you can see the rounded shape is towards the sleeve itself that helps to raise and give it the shape and form that you're looking for within a garment. There are two types of shoulder pads one is a set in sleeve and one is a raglan. You can find variants on those two types of shoulder pads where they can be a bit more um, let's say for example the set in sleeve can be more of a square shape rather than a D shape and that's fine it's still a set in sleeve and you can also find variants on the raglan sleeve where the roundness may be slightly different. Now don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in a comment box below and I will see you next time.